think you'll be seeing a little bit more of me in the next while. <laughs> this is very, very good news. All right, so I know what your news is for everybody out there who doesn't know what it is yet. I'm going to let you give it to them. Well, uh, here's the good news. I just signed a brand new record deal here in Nashville. Woohoo! Yay! And, uh, with a company called Rare Spark Media Group, and I'm very excited. I, uh, um, you know, I didn't. Uh, I, things just happen in a strange way in this world, and you just never know which way the road is going to turn. And all of a sudden, here I am with another record deal, and I'm going to be doing a new album. And uh, we're going to kind of do like a celebratory 20-year type thing, because it turns out it's been like 20 years since I've been doing this. Isn't that crazy? Is crazy. feels like, like yesterday, doesn't it, it, that we started? and Yeah. When the 20-year mark rolled by, I was like, wow, really? <laughs> I know. It doesn't seem possible, but I guess it is, because here we are, and we're, and we're still doing it. <laughs> okay, so you got to tell me, because, I mean, obviously it's been a while, since uh, we've had our Lisa Brokop on the air as a regular contender. So, you know, what have you been doing and how did this whole thing sort of ramp itself up? Well, um, I am a mommy now, so I've been doing a lot of that in the last few years. (laughs) I have an almost four-year-old little girl and uh, got married. And so we're just, you know, we've been doing the whole family thing. So uh, it's amazing how the time will fly with that sort of thing going on in your life. Right. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of taking a little bit of a, uh, I wouldn't say a break because I was still doing music and traveling some and recording, but a break from uh, the mainstream, uh, you know, the music business part yep. of it. Um, you know, when you've been doing it for as long as we have, 20 years, you have to take breaks here and there. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's good to just step back and, and, you know, get a different perspective on things and and regroup. And, you know, in some ways I kind of feel like a brand new artist again because I took some of that time and, and you know, I've done this many times and, I, and so I'm familiar with, with the ways of the business. Mm-hmm. But yet I still feel kind of new again because I feel refreshed. And uh, so I think I've got a different perspective and, and something new to say. You know, I'm a little bit older, a little bit wiser, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. I've been writing a ton of songs, which has been great. Can't wait to get a new song out on the radio. Well, we can't wait either. I, I'm, I'm just curious to know, the deal with Rare Spark, was there something about that group that drew you? How did, how did the arrangement end up taking shape? Well, they're brand new here in Nashville, and they have some really great new innovative ideas they're very fresh which was appealing to me and also um i know the the woman who owns the company suzanne strickland she's been a friend of mine for a while and so we got to talking one day and she's like well hey maybe we need to sit down and figure out how to do the next lisa brokop canadian record and i thought oh okay sure that sounds like fun (laughs) so we sat down and just kind of went from there and it was almost like it just sort of fell into my lap and so far they're awesome they've already been working really hard and um it's suzanne strickland scott sherrod and kate house is going to be working with me as well and it's going to be fun no doubt no doubt isn't it funny how when you just kind of relax let go and Mm -hmm. and grab hold of your life in in its entirety that things just Mm kind of crawl up under your knee yeah, they sort of end up lining up the way they're supposed to be, I guess. If we just, you know, it's really hard to let go sometimes. We hold on to things very very tightly, <laughs> yep. trying to control everything. And sometimes that's just not possible. And, you know, if you just sit back, I mean, you know, sit back within reason. We all have things we got to do. But all of a sudden it's like, oh, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. It's been put in front of me, and, and you know what? I'm really excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> and there's been so many beautiful, nice comments on Facebook and Twitter of, people that seem to be really excited about this new project and it just really has made me feel so filled up i'm just really excited i can't wait to get on the road and and visit some people that i haven't seen in a while and meet some new people Mm -hmm. so it's going to be exciting time i feel like i'm really ready for this at this time in my life and uh, you know i want to get out there and and uh, and work hard and see what happens terrific and you really you do seem like you're ready to uh, get right on top of the whole social media thing. So if people are following you there, they're going to get updates. Yes, that's the best place to, to find out what's going on. Go to Facebook, go to Twitter. There will be updates quite often. 
I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of old school when it comes to all that, but I'm learning really quickly about how that works, <laughs> and I'm getting on it so that and I can you... let people know what's going on, and, and it is a great way to, to, you know, get information out quickly and let people know what's going on, where we're going to be, and, and all the exciting things. Kate sure will show you the ropes on that. <laughs> yeah, Kate is awesome. Kate is great. That's our slogan over there. Kate is great. Kate is she great. works so hard, and she's so good at that stuff, so I'm, I'm sticking with her. <laughs>